Hey Roosters, I am the Ace and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be playing some more Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, because this game is very fun and very nice and relaxing, actually. So we're going to continue going. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? The investigation continues. This. Oh. Let's fight this area. Very fun, very fun. This child's wearing a mustache. He's wearing a mustache. All the stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rogue, there you are. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they have seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. How about a warm welcome? Look to the point, aren't you, darling? But I see you brought the microwave master with you. Ah, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Ah, uh, no, I want to be known as the Microwave Master. That would be cool. Pez is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Hello, Rouge. I'm gonna need that help. Please? Alright. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? I certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Treasure, huh? Motivation, maybe? I don't know, I doubt, I doubt those. Since I'm part business tycoon, part per purveyor, a fine collect purveyor, a fine collectibles, I know I have to find it. What about it is, Rouge? Right, well, it's a Fabergé child new. Ooh, I'm assuming that is good. I'm going to assume that is good. Wow, that does sound extravagant. Alright, so Tez doesn't even know what it is either. So I'm not alone in this, at least. Well, please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite in only to find that egg. A woman could have multiple goes. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. Deduce that the Fabergé Chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in its safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? Well, I would assume so. Why would they lie about this? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Well, well, why don't you both take a look? 230401. Interesting. Um, so I want to know if that the code might be confused for something. I found the train's blueprints in the library car with a safe code with a safe code written right on it. Score of a lifetime. Alright, so I might not have to remember it after all. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh-uh. Fine, let's keep us, sweetheart. There's a problem. You know, there's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We had a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow Egg? How many times could you say Fabergé Chow Egg in a conversation? Let's see with this one. Please, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issue here, since it's a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lower card must be influencing her decisions here. Whether that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Eh, probably. Ace, do you have an opinion on this? Time for a five-figure discount! Yeah! <laughs> well, I suppose if both Blaze and Ace are in... Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow Egg. That's <laughs> the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. But we must plan. Oh. I guess we're planning. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. We attack the guard, bribe the guard, distract the guard. Attack! I can't say I'm comfortable attacking a Chow. Let's keep violence to the minimum, shall we? That's fun, but I agree. Think about it again. Access. No, right. Bribe. Anyone have anything we can use for a bribe? I have a pair of tweezers. Uh oh, here's a trading card! She's not giving you anything. Maybe bribing is the way to go. Fine, we'll distract a guard. 
Let's drop him. <laughs> what all shot me enough for that to work? That was actually a really nice thing to say. Call me Hecky. Call me Hecky. Hey, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. So am I depressed or something? Are you saying I don't smile ever? You never look at me during anything. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm going to be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Yeah, huh? Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Oh, uh, I wanted to do it. Rouge. Of course I'll distract them. Who resists my feminine charms? That's exactly why I chose her. I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Plus, your fight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being distraction makes sense. Well, fair enough. Let's take it over again. Um, Blaze? Think you can distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single, I've never let a single person down. Or falter. Great. Your voice was so stoic. I have chills. I'm gonna trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? I uh, got my voice changed. Turn the claw machine is stopped. There's the bunch of poker chips on the floor. Ask the child about their partner. What's the people are talking about themselves? It's wrong to distract the guard. Perfect. I think we can move on then. With the guard distracted, that was the answer. Wow. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will we get the access card? Ask for the card. No harm in asking, right? Why are you naive, innocent soul? Such a fresh face, this one. So cute. You suggest we take the guard off shoe shopping next? I don't think Chow wear, I don't think Chow wear shoes. These ladies are ruthless, I better rethink this. Pickpocket. Snatch the access key, no problem. That Chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them. You can get help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there, Ace. What's your plan? Uh, do I put the horny route, or do I put the other route? I'll put the horny route. Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. It's your heritage. Any war crimes that you know about? But, well, I, um... You dress far too plain. You need to go clean. You need to clean your fashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. If it's doing you give a far too easy as well, you have to work on full of fortitude. I'll say we'll try something else. Oh, I said it was. With the card obtained, who lays out of there? Ace, what's your plan? Push the security guard over. I'm still not comfortable with any violence here. Just a little push. My child's low. My child's low to the ground. It won't hurt them. But if they start crying, it's bringing one point of attention to us. Why is someone who cries so easily? Why is someone who cries so easily a security guard? Yeah, disappoint for that thought. Disappoint with that thought. Why? Anyway, disappoint. Let's think of something else. All right, fine. We'll save the, the, the drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can't think of nothing worse. Pickable. I'll never allow such a thing in my kingdom. God will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And with the guard distracted, we'll head to we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it to the elevator. Inside, we celebrity. And a sweet, sweet, sweet victory. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no. One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? High five each of You know those arms are claws. I'm not touching them. The high fives aren't giving away really, really. You have to be cherished. I don't think my hands would survive a high five from them. Let's rethink this. You know, humor my suggestion. How oddly polite of them. Okay. Tie them into one big knot. My shoes don't have laces. Does anyone here know how to tie a knot? Yes. Well, no. Um, I can, but I gotta sing a little song when I do it. I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. If someone didn't want to hear my song. <laughs> this, this is funny. Alright, fine. We'll have Tails to save one. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. No, no, Tail. Oh, no. Tail has taken a while. The arms are tightened in the hood. Try and hope they sympathize. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Imagine you're not in pain. 
Tails man. Tails man should do it. <laughs> Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. Oh. Man, that actually wouldn't that's actually the thing we're going with. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. Alrighty, let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up that elevator. A safe. Man, this train is very elaborate. Anyway. Maybe the plan would go off without a hitch. What's up, that minute? Wish forward at you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Why, thank you. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé Chow Egg. <laughs> Oh, we need to choose which save. Big boy. No question, this has got to be the save with our treasure. And turn the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. Oh, that's sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> what happened? Oh, you got it right. I, won I wanted to get it wrong. All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. You can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out! What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell this tale. You can open the egg? You sure can! And all you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it! It's a bomb. I found the source of the ticking! It's Oh. Well. Well, terrible. Rouge has no one lived to tell the egg secret because each egg is a bomb? I think you rolled to something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. Here, yeah, dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work. Rouge. Right, fine. But what do we do? This thing. Between your boobs. Put it in between the titties. That's an extra question. What do we do with a bomb? Oh, uh, uh. Let Rouge kiss the egg. Have a... Please, let's let her finish the and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? You can just. Listen, what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. It's I think you're onto something. What? Well, what's worse? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just. Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. He did. Okay, I'm one of Vision Younger Technology and Saudi so Heads. We found this. Right arms, zero event, they can perform a variety of tests and response to clean up trash from this. Afterwards, we'll buy bounce guys like tech weapons and response to. Ah, I'm understanding. Those robot, those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought into the train disguised as this fabricated Chow A, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. Don't tell me that was actually the option. No, God. I would. Oh, no. Oh, I should have let Rouge kiss the egg. Egg! It opened! It's hollow! Not home at all! You both really were onto something. Ew! Why am I? Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. I was gone. No, not thankfully. I wanted it to be wrong. I wanted us to die. Ew, look what's inside. Ah. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's how heavy, too. It's my secret to the Fabergé Chow Egg. It's a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she truly over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. It looks like a... It looks like something a rapper would wear. He said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Chow Egg secret. I wonder if, why if the egg was in a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? Freshest treasure. Let's see the behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Probably. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Of 
call. Let's go. Lame. No one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at the post. Hopefully, some dude with the drink coaster fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Dealing was strangely fun. And I prefer to never do it again. Ah, uh, you narc. You lame -o. Now, Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that desert cow. Of course she is. What? What? She's a darling. About those blueprints, now that you're done with them, maybe we can take a look? I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her, she's more powerful than me. I guess. Well, we'll get out of your way for now then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. There you go. Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. So we unlock the door so you can continue forward. What, did Amy not come through here or something? You know, we had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. She's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Why you stay safe? Thanks again. Well, do. Come on, Ace. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Oh, so we're done? Oh. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Oh, my God, please. I don't know how to play that. Ace, we simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. What? Oh, I wanted to play Blackjack. All right. Hmm, I should give the slot machine a try. Should I give the slot machine? Yes, play slot. All right, let's see. Big money, big money. Well, I lost, so I try again. Yes. 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 Yes, I say. Yes. Ace, what do you expect to happen if you keep playing? <laughs> uh, big money? I'm gonna get it this time, you'll see. Yes. <laughs> keep going. Yes. Keep going. Yes. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? Yes, I have been told this many times by countless people. I know what the definition of insanity is. In fact, I tell other people it. I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails. I got it this time. Yes. It'll happen eventually. Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? Yes, I have, actually. And I've heard of the sunk cost fallacy. The sunk cost fallacy? Phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they are invested heavily in it, even if it is, even if it is, even it, even when it is clear that abandonment would be more than beneficial. Yeah, I know. I do it all the time. Of course, I've heard of it. Why do you ask? No reason. All right, big money, big money. Let's do a try again. Yes. I'll be over here when you decide. I'll be over here when you decide you're done. All right, big money, big money. Well, let's do a try again. Yes. Keep going. It'll, it'll work. It'll work. I'm surprised. I actually have. I'm surprised. I w actually have heard of the sunk cost fallacy. I'm a patient man. I'm a patient man. I'm a patient man. Come on. Show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. Big money, big money. Alright, well. Thank goodness. I really thought I lost you there for a second. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh, whatever. I want to see if there's more. And I just go again. I want to see if Tails talks to me again and be like, why'd you go back? Please. Please, more. More. I need more. I need more lore. Alright, fine. Alright, I don't think there's anything else. Alright, yep. Let's get going. Well, let's find Shadow. My homeboy, my bro, my main man. Look at him playing. Look at him playing it. Look at him playing the bass. Isn't that bass? Where's that? Yeah, that's a bass. Now is a good. Now is a. Now is as. Huh. Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you want to talk, but I know exactly. I know exactly what you've been looking for. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. 
Twitters are pissing it off. It was inconceivable. Inconceivable. What you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing that you lot will have. I'm not saying a thing you lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you leave me, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, at least it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Thank you. Back to the actual game. All right, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Ace. Here's the thing, though. We don't... We don't know what Blaze has been doing. She was like, oh yeah, I've been helping Rouge. But like, do we know what she's been doing otherwise? All right, so it is. Ace, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, if someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. No, you open it. All right, tough love, I get it. Here goes nothing. Ah! Oh, just some sweaters. See? Not so bad, huh? Just let's see. Yeah, you pussy. <laughs> yeah, guess you're right. Uh, I don't think it picked up the mic. All right. S Sorry, couldn't help it. He's like fragile. Oh, shut up. What is this? Hmm? Tails, do you see this? The pull string? Ace! What? It's gotta activate something. But the back of the wardrobe opened! There is a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious, this means, this means mean something big. Oh, look at me. This is the library! There's a secret passageway from the lounge to the library! This is just... This is Clue. I don't believe it. Quick, back through the passage before they spot us. So, this, this, so we can go back to the library through there. We need to add that to our inventory. The pass. <laughs> Alright, so there's a hidden passage added to the inventory. Okay. Band. Hey, it's the big chow band. Play us a ditty. They don't miss. That didn't sound great at all. What do you mean they don't miss? That sounded like a very big miss to me. Those chows understand music. No, they don't. That was terrible. They don't understand at all. Um, anything else over here? Ooh, trash can. Hails. Hails. No. Tails. I think, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Ace, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Ace? There's always something in the trash bin. Well, all right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha 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 ha! Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are you sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. It's always success if you check the trash bin. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. All right, computer. They told us about this in my. They told us about this in my interview. Well, just a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. It's not lovely. Seems convenient. It is a shame to be on the computer. I'm missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Or, you know, you just like being on the computer. I mean, those views weren't really that nice. Seems a prayer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Yes. Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stop me. See, it's the Game Grumps. Game, Game, Grump Game. Grump Game right there. Scrump game. Unless it's just, you know, anonymous Sonic person or something. And here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. 
Well, I'll quietly set this back in the printer. What? No. Hmm. A key ring must be Shadows, the locksmith. Yeah, why do you think he keeps locking the doors? Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. You took someone's key ring. I think we found enough clues. Let's go and take a shadow and find out what really happened. All right. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I could help either of you with. I asked that you leave me be. The stare, so cold. Yet, yet so, and yet so warm. I hate that I stuttered there. God. You know, maybe we will get out of here. Maybe we will get out of here, actually. Ace, we certainly will not. Can I take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. In the back of the dining car, I'll whip that right up. A coffee on a train. There's no better combination. I don't know, I'm not really a coffee drinker. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. It took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. Alright, start interrogation. Jada, we have plushes for you. Will you three get out? See? As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door of this train, and... Hi! Ah, uh, I'm gonna lose my voice. No. Oh. Oh. Great tell. Why was I locking all the doors? Time to reveal my hot tip. Help everyone's ready for a simply found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This floor right here is a large car, so you might join our lead to the conductor's car. Following? I guess. So Sato was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? That was too deep of a voice. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He lost in conductor's cars and not all the others, so, the, so one last door was a suspicious. Well, you're a conjecture, you all. Get out and leave me be. Well, my stories can back up all these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped. He couldn't leave the conductor's car. A reckless speculation. But he was in the dining car. What do you mean he can't leave? He was in the dining car. Did the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? No. I'll, I'll put a line of follow this train of thought, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Ace and I can explain the car change, however. Ace, what evidence do we have that Shosada could have gotten to the dining car? Oh. <laughs> Paper. No, no, this feels wrong. Fine. The hidden passage. Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Oh, we gotta do this. Alright. We. We. Uh, that's kind of annoying. All right, let's try this again. Ring, ring, ring. Give me the rings. Give me the juice. Daddy wants his juice. There we go. We did a th we did a think. We thought. All right. Ace and I found a hidden passage of the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? Secret passage. So if someone could have used this passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Ace. This adjusts my theory a bit. So Sato murdered Sonic in the conductor car, 
I thought the price thing being so close to the station was suspicious. I said I'll pick up Sonic off the door to the conductor car on the way out and drop the body off of the daddy car. Gasp. Are you officially using Shadow of Murder? Damn, as far as that is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well... I mean, yeah, but... The Vector was in the... Actually, hold on, yeah, that is weird. Unless they were just so blunt... Actually, no, yeah, that could have actually happened. Because Espio was reading. Vector and Knuckles were playing the games and engrossed and were engrossed in that. So yeah, Shadow could have definitely just went on by. Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to stick around two people. Ace, do you have any guesses? Oh well, SB and Vector didn't see Shadow because. Yeah, SBO was reading. I believe SBO was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. SBO reading the library text out. That's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector with that one for game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for SBO. He was not here. He was not in the library. What? I believe you, Vector. You're currently under my number one suspect. Why are you even searching for SBO, huh? If you must know, just give him a key. Yes, Criminal Fox has been giving away his keys. Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. Yeah, which is confusing. Why are you giving people keys? I didn't know that. Shadow's been having a piece. Perhaps Ace and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We could do one now. Ace, what evidence supports Shadow's claims that he was giving keys away? Keys. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. How do we need to get our thoughts in order? It's literally like, oh, we have keys. Alright, well. Ooh, this is getting harder. Oh boy, this is getting slightly harder. Alright. There's only one reason th there's exactly two cues on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give to Espio and Vector. No way! What, what, what was one of them? One of his own key? Did one of those be from him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. If Shadow's telling the truth, then what? What do you mean, then what? Then, that's it. If then we saw the computer in the Jenny car, and what possible reason could he have locked off? Could he have a lucky to all the doors? Hmm. She's right, her theory is strong, Tiz and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. It could be he was, it could be the crumpled piece of paper. He was trying to keep a secret from her. He was trying to lock doors so the people so then Amy would have a harder time getting through. And he could get a gift in order. Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Ace and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me? <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Why does he keep including me? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today giving you a birthday present? Aha! The crumpled paper! I told you! I told you! Almost every Almost everyone, yeah! Time has been so sweet! Well... <laughs> Yes, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. I think being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Yes? Ah, just tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. The... The bit of trash never fails, baby. Sunk cost fallacy, here we go. You know, Shadow walked through every train car looking for the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. 
So for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Ace. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow is trying to keep Amy away. Uh-huh. Yeah-huh. I'm a smart boy. I'm a smart boy. Ugh. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. No, it's my birthday, right? Thank you, Shadow. Oh, oh dear. Hey, show me the evidence. Uh-huh. The Shadow was trying to keep me away. It be so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? I know the exact proof I have. I know the exact proof I have. Uh, bin of trash, baby, it never fails. Oh, I should have just jumped. Oh god, I'm I'm sucking dick right now. Oh god damn it. And it ended up not mattering. And it ended up not mattering. I still got it in the end. Okay. Alright. You went rooting through the trash? Oh, what is that? We found this in the trash bin. We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of the band's ticket website. The tails don't. I'm not. I'm a. I'm not a. I, I'm not a high voice person. This is Hot Honey's website. Hey, I love them. Yeah, we know you do, Amy. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band of Curly Steps with Jamie B's. Oh, my son's favorite. Oh, the members have E after their name? Yeah, he is a huge. I haven't gone to any of their shows yet, but you don't know. The tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and be shown in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. I figured it out before Tails did. I mean, what do you mean so soon? It's plainly obvious. The printout of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because he was buying tickets for Amy. Oh, I should have put that he was a big Hot Honey's fan. That would have been funny. No, is this true? Are you trying to give me concert tickets for my birthday? Mm -hmm. You've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Oh. I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. I logged on to the website. Did you print the homepage by accident? Oh, the. Yes. That's exactly what happened. Nothing says with computers and just leave. Please, if you try to use you a burner, everybody shut out the cat out of the bag. I'm gonna know what you're saying. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Oof. Probably our fault here. Eh, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Yeah. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift. Except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked in the when I accidentally printed the home page. The concert tickets were actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I well, haven't purchased the tickets yet. I tried to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I had enough keys so they could get in and out, knowing the not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. Because the doctor gave me this. Yep. 
This key opens up any door on the train. I've got through every locked door with keys. Plans fatal flaw. The birthday key. Damn it, you threw my boy surprise. Boy, stop dancing that damn ball. I should have guessed. It's a well known privilege. That all right. Your gesture is so sweet. And that's why I kiss you too. How about this? Just buy the ticket later. I make it, I make it up to you. You can come with me. Oh, fine. I don't know. I don't know it. Julie, it's happening. Yeah. I can't wait. The song of a lifetime. Your birth. I took lots of pictures from the concert, you two. There's the mystery of shadows locked doors. I finally reached the end. I played my sword for all this. I was at a hot tip after all. I need to believe Shadow was behind everything. The credibility as a journalist reporter to the train. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, certainly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles will stay intact. All right, shut up. Proud bitch. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Yes! But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'll let to know he's been dragging my name through the mud. Join us well. Time to figure this through to the end. I'm more than happy to have you both. It's, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Thank God. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on. Oh. Right on then. Let's do this. Sorry. Or let's do let's do let's do it. Sorry. Okay, anyway. Let's go. Uh, actually, I'm gonna end this off here, and I'm gonna save it f for one last episode for a finale. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you, Reesers, at the finish line. Bye-bye.